Hey, everybody. All right, I have a confession to make. I really dislike coffee. It's just, I've never acquired a taste for it. My mother used to drink it all the time. My dad didn't drink it. He drank something called postum, which just sounds bizarre. It was sort of this wheat thing that he <laughs> used to mix with hot water. And then eventually he would just drink hot water in the morning. That's all he drank was hot water. Well, I tried coffee maybe once. I think my mother had a little milk and, and she used to dip her donuts in it way back in the day. But I never, ever liked coffee. I tasted it. It was like, it's just too bitter. I don't like it. Well, as some of you know, I am totally addicted to caffeine, okay? But it's Diet Pepsi. Now, Diet Pepsi just tastes like aspartame and chemicals. And for whatever reason, I have a, I've totally acquired a taste for that. So I've read a lot about the health benefits for coffee and that, you know, it has antioxidants and it's supposed to be good for you and it can help with cancer and all sorts of things. But I just, if someone would give me a coffee, I'd take one sip and I'd be like, thanks, I'm good. I, one reason is I don't really, I don't drink hot liquids very often. I'm not a big, I drink, do everything fast. So great, can't, can't wait to see me more on caffeine. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna try some coffee. I'm gonna see if I can maybe become an acquired taste and join the rest of the world where it's, it's freely available at many places. Uh, and I, you know, it's a social thing. Let's go get a cup of coffee and I want a Diet Coke. I don't have it for breakfast. Um, you know, hopefully I won't take up smoking because I used to be apparently coffee and cigarettes go great, but I'm not going to do that. So I want to get some of the benefits of coffee. So I figured that I would record some of this, my journey, and I don't know how successful now, I don't know how successful I'm going to be uh, drinking coffee. Now, I actually ordered, uh, we had a Keurig and it... Uh, it broke and then we fixed it and then Mike brought it into work. So we didn't have a coffee maker and we have a company that's coming and he drinks coffee. So I was gonna buy another Keurig, but in the past I thought, mm, we don't really use it. So, you know, and it makes one thing at a time and if we had company over, I would just like use a drip maker. So I actually ordered a drip ma maker. It arrived uh, yesterday and the carafe was all broken. So I'm gonna make just home, you know, just, wing it here and make some coffee and try some different things and see if I survive. So I know it's not high end, but I did buy Maxwell House. And believe it or not, there is a lot on the web about how to become an acquired taste of coffee. And they say, you should start with a light, light uh, blend, which I did. And, you know, and then try, you know, yeah, like milk and sugar. And then slowly, you know, you can, you know, up the coffee quotient or whatever. So I just think this is, this is going to be probably a disaster. This may be the last video of you guys watching me try this. Maybe I'll do it every day and I'll try and see if I, if I can tolerate it. So because my carafe and my coffee maker broke, I have a make at home <laughs> strainer. I did have some coffee filters. So I do have, I did have that and I read the directions. I have exactly one tablespoon in here and it says to mix with six ounces of water. So I'm gonna, I, I'm boiling on the kettle, as you can see, uh, maybe you can't see. Um, I'm boiling some hot water on the kettle and I have an actual measuring cup. So I'm actually, I know I'm doing this at night, Chris, because I'm a night person anyway. I'm gonna go out, so I'll probably even be more wired. So I have my hot water, my hot water is ready. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, let's see, I can swip this around for a second. Okay, hold on, let's see here. Switch. All right, so I have this little setup here. I'm gonna put this in here. Actually, I may have to put you down. So hold on, let's see, hold on. Let me see if I put you down for a second. I don't, want to, I don't want to mess up my thing here. So let me just put you down for a second. I'm going to make my six ounces here. So let's do. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm, you can't see, but I'm, I should have got Mike to hold my camera. But I got to make sure that the coffee actually comes in contact with the water. So I'm going to pour the coffee through the filter. And I'm going to hopefully get like six ounces here. You can't see, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Oops. 
Oh, I'm spilling. I'm spilling. This is why people use a coffee things designed to make coffee. But we'll see. This is just... Here, I can hold this up. So I'm straining the coffee in here, and I tried not to get the grounds in because I'm sure they don't taste very good in your coffee, but I'm sure that's how people used to do it all the time. So let's see here. How many ounces? We have six here. We still got a little, we need some more water once it gets through here. I mean, I actually don't mind the smell of coffee. Um, but it's funny, even coffee ice cream, I go, Bleh, too bitter. So I, I don't know if this is actually going to work. I'm going to try this. I'm going to give it the college try, though. I'm going to try um, to do this several times, you know, maybe several videos, and we'll see how we make out. I'm going to put this down again for me. I'm going to turn the burner off. Oops, I dropped you. Let me add a little more water. So let's see here. This is the home brew, Mr. Wizard experiment here. All right. So we got to get to six ounces. This is following the directions. I'm all about directions. So we'll see. Making It doesn't look that dark. So this was a light roast. So I know I've seen coffee that's really dark, dark. But they say start with a lighter. I still need a little more water in there, although it's still soaking down. This might be enough as soon as it filters down. It does, this dripping method takes a while, huh? Now I see why people use Keurigs, all right? Let me give it a little more water. I don't think that's going to speed it up any, but... All right. So this is just going to be... I, I can't guarantee this, but I just think it'll be funny. And I bought some things I can, while well, this is dripping, I did buy some Coffee Mate with peppermint in it. I thought, well, maybe that will, will make me, you know, slowly start doing that. Um, and I bought some half and half. My mother used to drink half and half with her coffee and sugar. And so maybe it's in my genes. I didn't know there's actually a genetic um, component to why people like coffee or not. So I think I got my dad's gene, as again, because he wasn't really, he would drink coffee on occasion, but as I said, he would much more drink the postum uh, or the, or just plain hot water. But again, as I said, I, th what may keep me from never doing coffee is the, the fact that it's hot and I'm really just not a hot drinker, you know, but I, the, I, the benefits I hear about it, and not only that, but it's probably better for me drinking that in the morning than diet soda. I'm, I've really cut back on my diet soda. I drink usually one at in the morning and I've been drinking water throughout the day. Uh, but I still drink it and it's, it's my caffeine. I've cut back a lot on it, but if I have a pizza, I'm still gonna have my diet Coke. Okay, so we're at six ounces. So I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna put you down for a minute. I'm gonna put this in the sink here. All right, so I have six ounces of coffee. Now I figure what I would do is I would try different things. So the first thing I'm gonna try is I'm gonna taste straight coffee and see if that just, that we might end it right here. Okay, so let me flip this. All right, so this is straight Maxwell House. I know it's not designer. Maybe I need to buy designer coffee, but this is, Stuff people have been drinking forever, all right? Um, it's fucking hot. Oh, I shouldn't swear on this. But it's it's hot. I guess you're supposed to wait till coffee cools a little bit? Or is that why you put stuff, you put cream and sugar in it? But, I mean, it's really not as strong as I thought it would smell. Because it smelled better when I was pouring it over there. But let me see if I burn my lips here. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to burn my lips because I don't know how hot this is. It was boiling hot water. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, it kind of tastes like... Like if the sewer backed up a little bit. Maybe? I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me try again. Oh, now I got to... I got to... I got a big bunch of that. Now, it's warm. It's not that hot, but it hit, I think bitter is on the side of your, your tongue. So that's where I, where, this has got to be the most dumbest thing anyone has ever watched in your entire life. Um, 
So, so far, black coffee, not so much. All right, so now we're gonna try my mom's way, all right? So I don't know how much um, half and half to add, but I guess it doesn't matter. To just get the right color, it looks like, that I've seen people do. So let me see. I'm gonna add a little on the bottom of my, of my glass here. And I'm gonna pour some coffee. Now, I'm not gonna put too much coffee because I'm not a coffee drinker yet, right? So I'm gonna have more cream than I am coffee. So I'm gonna pour that in. And then let me stir this up a little bit. I need a little, a teaspoon. Just think of all the wonderful coffee mugs and things that aren't, cl aren't cluttering up my house that I could actually add. So this is now, I'm gonna be drinking, there's not much coffee in here. It's more cream than coffee, but I'm gonna try that and see if that's any better. But people actually enjoy this. This is what's funny to me. So far, it's not enjoyable. I think it's an addiction and acquired taste, just like my Diet Coke, because I love Diet Coke. And so if I love Diet Coke and you love coffee, it's got to be like a taste bud thing you get used to. So let's try this. Well, I taste more milk than anything. It's on my lips, too. Well, because it's cold, too. It's a lot easier for me to drink because I'm not, I'm not used to drinking hot liquids. So let me add a little more coffee to it, actually. It's not, I'm not enjoying the flavor yet, but I'm not really getting much coffee either. So we'll see here. Let me stir this up a little bit. Now that's sort of a, it's a very, very light. I don't know if you can see, I have to flip it over. It's, it's very, very light color here. I don't know if that's about the right color you'd have, but we're going to try that. No sugar yet. So let's see. This is just more milk or half and half, which, see, I don't even drink half and half. I don't know if that's the right thing or should I get heavy cream or whatever. Let's try it. It's not, I can, I can drink it. Let me, I, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little sugar because I guess people do cream and sugar. <laughs> See, I'm such a, a neophyte here. So I'm going to put a little sugar in. I'm going to mix that up. So far, it's not like, oh, this is delicious. All right. Okay, half and half for coffee and not heavy cream. Thanks, Chris. All right, so we did get the half and half. We're going to make sure we have everything you need when you come here. So I'm getting a new coffee maker. Let's see. Well, first of all, the sweetness is nice. Mmm, I did like the sweetness. I put, I just probably too much sugar in there. It's good. I mean, I like sweet things. It cut, it really did cut the taste. Oh, I forgot to do something else. Somebody said if you put a pinch of salt in black coffee, it can cut the bitterness too. But I don't th it's, think it's okay for me to slowly get to coffee, black coffee, not start off with that, right? Most, that's what the things I've been reading are people like try sweeten things first, and then eventually you can work your way to, to full coffee. So let me try this again. It's funny. Now, in the past, someone has given me a, a taste of coffee with coffee and sugar, and I tasted the bitterness, but I'm really not tasting the bitter, bitterness that much now. It's still not something like, oh, this is delicious. I can't wait to have a whole glass of mug of this. But I could start with this sugar and half and half and coffee and see if that acquired taste does eventually happen. Um, I know I, iced coffee. I tried that once and I didn't like it, but maybe I would eventually, you know, again, I, I've only like had, I've probably had less than three tablespoons of coffee. If that in my life, i really have not had, you know, I tasted, I'm like, Oh no, even coffee, ice cream. I'll take a couple of bites. I'm like, Ugh. so I actually drank that's the most coffee I ever drank in my entire life. And you saw that, that was not much. All right, so now we're gonna try something else. This is probably really cheating. Am I gonna become addicted now, people? All right, this is coffee, made. now I like peppermint. This is called peppermint mocha. Now this is the most, if I'm gonna take up coffee for health benefits, I shouldn't be drinking coffee made, okay? Because it's just all artificial, but, I figured to learn, I could try that. So I put, I put a good amount in the bottom 
And I have some more coffee here. This is the most bizarre thing you guys have ever watched. I'm going to pour that in. I've had a little more coffee. See if I see. I'm already upping my coffee intake here. All right. See me a little bit later when I'm rocking around really hard. So it's really it's not very dark. But again, I'm not a coffee drinker. So let's see. Let's see how this is. Let me flip this around. All right. This is Nestle Coffee Mate with Maxwell House breakfast blend. Is it breakfast blend? Very light. It's a light coffee, they say. It kind of tastes like nothing. I get the peppermint. It kind of tastes like, um, like milk, like a little peppermint milky, but I'm not really tasting the coffee. Maybe I should. I've killed the coffee. Let me try that. Maybe I'm addicted to it already. Now look at me. I'm pouring more coffee in as we speak. I'm like, wow, that's... <laughs> You're seeing addiction in the making right here live on Facebook, okay? I can't believe this is going to be the first cup of coffee I ever had. I've almost used this whole six ounces of coffee. This is fascinating to me. This is... And then I'm thinking to myself, you've made it to 59 with never being a coffee drinker. You're going to start at 59? What the hell? So, but we're going to try. I mean, see, I like peppermint. So this might be the gateway drug. Add a little peppermint and I'm there. It, it's completely the cream and sugar or the half and half or whatever you call it. That really cut the bitterness. And I found that that it makes it palatable. I don't think I'm ready for straight coffee for a long time because I don't eat anything that's bitter. But this coffee mate with the actual peppermint, and I don't even like mocha. I don't like mocha flavorings, you know, in like a mud pie or something like that. But there's, I'm setting the strong taste of peppermint and that is really, it's really cut the bitterness. And it's not too hot. That's the other thing because I've added the, the cooling liquids, it's not so hot. And that, that's better for me. And it's not, you know, it's, it's, yeah. All right. Okay. We are watching addiction in the making right here. It does have an aftertaste though, a coffee after, and I've kissed people who've, who've drank coffee. He, believe it or not, Mike doesn't drink coffee. So I'm not going to tell you who I kissed, but, um, it, it's, it's, I don't know if you're ready, Chris. I don't know, but I'm, I mean, I drink a lot of Diet Coke, so I don't know if the caffeine to caffeine equivalency. Um, although I have to admit, when I was working at Meditech, we had some company come and they had like this thing that had like three cups of coffee and like this candy. And I took one and I was like running around the, the, um, the office. Okay, coffee may, may may not be healthy, but right now it's it's the winner. It's the winner. I didn't try. Let me see. What else can I try? Coffee. Oh, let me just try the sugar. I mean, um, oh, I have some grounds in there. You know what? I'm just gonna drink the rest of this. I'm gonna pour the rest of the coffee in. That's made it a little bit stronger to my mocha. See if I taste the coffee now. I think one cup is enough to start. Okay, so now I'm getting the stronger hints of coffee and it just tastes like like you're drinking the bottom of a trash can that coffee grounds were in. So I think I need a little bit more coffee. Made. Or let me just try a little more sugar. Does that help? Add a little more sugar. So maybe with 17 sugars and with um, 17 sugars and or, and or coffee mate and some cream, Maybe I'm a coffee drinker. We're going to try this. We're going to try this again. We'll see if I become addicted. I mean, again, it's drinkable. I can drink it, which is actually fascinating to me because I'm almost finished. And this and now also I'm doing an old fashioned size. It's six ounces. That's what mostly, you know, an old teacup used to be. And I know people are drinking these giant mugs like this. This is like double what a regular coffee cup would be. Or they go to Starbucks and they get those big things. But this is the most coffee I ever drank in my entire life. So let's see. 
I actually finished it. That's really funny to me. I mean, it really, I must have had coffee that didn't have a lot of sugar in it or whatever. I, I, again, I, it's not something that, although I feel like I need to make another, another pot right now. No, <laughs> I don't think so. But, um, but uh, it's kind of funny. That's the first time I ever drank a cup of coffee at 59 years old. I mean, it, it was quite the experiment here, okay? Your aunt puts six spoons of sugar in coffee or tea? Well, I like your aunt, all right? So I might do that. Now, I'm not going to go to sweeteners yet. I'm just going to go old-fashioned. I'm going to go like with half and half or sugar for a while. And then maybe I can get more healthy and, and get some of that crap out. Also, so far, this is the winner. And I think if I'm going to be addicted, this is only uh, available uh, at the holiday time. So I'm, this might be a, a short experiment because... I know they have other flavors, but I, I looked at them. I don't want hazelnut. That just sounds blech. I don't want any of that. But I suppose I could just buy peppermint and just add some peppermint oil. That might, that might give me the same, same thing and just add it to my half and half. And that would be uh, similar and probably healthier. Not necessarily fat, low fat, but um, would do it. So, all right. So here we go. That was my first cup of coffee. I drank the whole thing. I know you guys are seasoned professionals and you drink with several of these a day. Um, but that was it. And I don't know, maybe I'm talking a little bit faster. I, I could be. I could be. Um, but I'm ready. I want to go out on the town tonight and I am awake. So um, anyway, thank you for watching. Oh, belt of peppermint candy in the coffee. Oh, I have some left over from, from... You're going to have to give me all the coffee tips when you're here, Chris. Um, so, but I, I, it's almost like I, not that I feel superior or anything like that, but I feel like I've made it this far without ever really drinking coffee. Well, I can't say that now. I just had my first cup, but it's like, why would I take it on? But I've just heard about the benefits of it. And I really, I really have cut down on the diet Coke because I was drinking four, two liters a week, four. Okay. And now I drink it in the morning and I've really seriously cut down. I'm drinking a lot more water. Maybe I shouldn't get rid of all of this and just drink water, but it does, ha it is nice to have that little pick me up in the morning because I've never been a morning person. So maybe if I took up some coffee and then it would be nice if someone gave me a coffee, I wouldn't go, you know, it's so weird. I just feel like I'm a child when I'm around coffee because I'm just not a coffee drinker. And I'm fascinated by how people really just live for their coffee. You know, I, I that's got to be the caffeine. Um, and maybe the taste is acquired. I hope that I come to join to enjoy the taste of coffee. And apparently it, it can be done. People are, are very similar to me. And this is what happened. Um, and there's stuff on the web about sort of what exactly what I'm doing, how to like learn to do it. But I almost feel like learning to do this is kind of, if your body is telling you something you don't like it, why would you force yourself to do it? It's like my body is saying bitter is bad. Um, but again, it's not bitter if you add sugar and stuff. Okay, so maybe the caffeine has kicked in a little bit. So I'm going to go. I hope you all have a great Saturday night. I'm up at least for several hours now. And we will try this again. And thanks for watching, Chris. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a good night.